Hail, brothers and sisters, my true brothers and sisters and Father Satan and Luciferanism and theistic Satanism, traditional Satanism, uh, devil worship, spiritual Satanism. I was asked a question um, today, actually, and it and it being Sin Day, it was a perfect day to ask me too, to be honest with you. I was asked a question: Why? Why do I, why the devil, like why choose Satan, why has, why have Satan, why believe in Satan, out of the thousands and thousands or probably millions of different gods there are, okay, all the ancient gods, they, going back to the Roman gods, Zeus, uh, going back to the Greek gods, all of them. I was asked why my belief in why I believe in Satan so strongly, and why I engulf everything that I think, breathe, dream about, you name it. I have Father Satan on my mind and all of his demonic kingdom, meaning every demon, every demoness that there is. Okay, I was asked this today, and it's actually a pretty good question considering all the gods that there are out there, right, that people worship, because fuck, people worship rocks and stones and trees and everything, man. You know, at least I know what I worship, I get something out of in return, okay? I just, I, at least I know what I'm doing and worshiping and getting something in return, not just the satisfaction of maybe planting a tree or a flower or something like that. Because, number one, the reason why, is because Father Satan and all of the demonic divine are considered the adversary of every other, of every belief system that there is, that, that's known to man, right? Father Satan, Satanism, devil worship is considered the adversary. Or the opposite, right? That's number one. Okay, number two is because I have an obsession with it. Like, and I'm not, I, I've got no problem telling anybody that I have a very big obsession with anything to do with the left-hand path or anything to do with Father Satan and Satanism. I have a very big obsession with it. Like, I'm literally, I am literally obsessed with it. Like, I'm literally ups, and the reason why I'm obsessed with it is I'm literally obsessed to getting as close as humanly possible to Father Satan and his demonic kingdom. Every one of his demons, from Az from Azazel to Pazuzu, every single one, all of them. King Asmodeus is my patron demon, and he has been for many years. And he has uh, he is after teaching me a lot. But, in return, Father Satan is after teaching me a lot, too, believe you me. An awful lot. <clears throat> and he's after teaching me a lot about myself. Psychologically and physically. He is after teaching me a lot. And he will continue to teach me a lot. And the reason why I'm obsessed with it is because... And one of the things that I found the hardest to do first when I got into it... Okay was leave all my path or orthodoxes behind. Leave all my past belief systems behind. Like, and, and meaning that, I'll explain, okay, for the ones that don't understand. Meaning that my past orthodoxes, meaning past belief systems, meaning that because with all the right-hand path belief systems, or Zion belief systems, whatever, whatever you want to call them, all they do is put fear into the individual. And they lead them around like sheep after that. Now, to break free from that, you obviously have to do rituals. Okay? You obviously, obviously have to do a renunciation, a renunciation, a strong renunciation. And you might, have to, you, might, you might have to do that renunciation over a dozen times. But that's fine too. Father Satan just loves you doing it. But Father Satan will help you along on your path. 
It's like a trail. He leaves like him and his demonic leave like a trail of breadcrumbs for you. And at the end of the breadcrumbs, there is a great big feast. Okay. Now, a lot of people jump into Satanism, whether it be theistic, traditional, spiritual, devil worship, demonolatry. You know, whether it be one of them, they jump in and think that right. They think right off the bat that they're going to be rich. If they do ritual or whatever, they're gonna have. They're gonna be rich. They'll wake up tomorrow morning and they'll have twenty million dollars in their bank account, or fifty million. I'll go higher. I'll say a hundred million in their bank account. And they think, they think that if they do a ritual uh, for a soulmate or for just say a sex partner, they think that tomorrow morning, you know, right off the bat, some beautiful thing, some beautiful looking very sexy looking woman or lady is going to be tapping on their door it don't work that way you know you have you still have to put in work father satan's path is there for us for the taking but we still have to put in work and he lets us know if we're doing right if we're doing right he lets each and every individual know there's no question about that but i've been obsessed with the occult and the left hand path and it's satanism especially theistic satanism traditional Satanism, devil worship, for as long as I can remember. And I'm being dead serious, as long as I can remember. Like, and I always have, and I always will. There's no doubt about it. Because the things that I know now, I know things now that I didn't know last week. I know things this evening that I didn't know yesterday. And I know I'll know things tomorrow that I didn't know today. But Father Satan is there for your for your taking. If you if you are one hundred percent true and honest with Father Satan, and you're really into it and really obsessed, you honestly want to be, you honestly want to get as close to Godhood as you can possibly get. Self deification is the key. If you want to be as close and you know be as close to Godhood as you can get, you have to put in the work. And by the work, I mean study, read as much as you can, because it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, you never have enough. There's, you'll never learn enough knowledge. And I know a lot of people that just jump on the path, and they do a pact with Satan, pact with Satan right away, and three months down the road, things that, or, two, or a month down the road, things didn't go the way they want it. Because they wanted this, they wanted that, they wanted this, but they didn't want to put no work and effort and time into it. And then they decided, oh, I'm not going to be a Satanist no more. Now I'm going back to wherever I came from. Bullshit. Father Satan knew your intentions even before you'd done them. Father Satan knows our intentions even before we do them, man. That I promise you right now. Father Satan knows all. And my obsession with Father Satan grows more and more every single day. The closer I become, closer I get to, to him the, and to his demonic divine, the more obsessed I become. And am I obsessed? Yeah, I'm very obsessed. Is it right to be obsessed? Yes, it is right to be obsessed. It's definitely not wrong. So I just want to let people know that, I just want to answer that question that, that I had uh, given to me or asked. And my obsession with Father Satan... It, first of all, my first thing I did, had to do was remove do a prayer, do renunciation rituals to get rid of every past belief system that was even entering my mind. That's the first thing I did. I waited a year, then I done a. After one year, I did a uh, made, did a pact with Father Satan. I waited a year because I wanted to be sure to do it correctly. And you should wait a certain amount of time. In my honest opinion, I really do believe that you should. That's that's for sure. And the thing about it is, is Father Satan, will, Father Satan and his demonic kingdom, will let his true children know the truth about what's going on in the spiritual plane. In the next level of existence, he won't just okay, just read this book and you'll be fine. No, Father Satan sinks it into our domes if we want to find it. We just have to do the work to find it. All it takes is work. 
and studying and reading and doing rituals and things of that nature. So with that being said, I just want to do a short video and, you know, Father Satan is there for the taking, there for the asking. It's his, it's, he's the true king of this world, the true God of this world, the true Lord of this world. Always was and always will be. Even if we all have a nuclear, even if we all have a nuclear war and we all croak tomorrow, we'll all be in hell together. Even the ones that think that they're all goody two shoes and better than everybody else, because I got news for them, they're not. Nobody's better than me. I don't care who they are. With that being said, Ave Satanus, Hail Satan, Hail King Lucifer, Hail Lord Belial, Hail Lord Leviathan, Hail Beautiful Queen Lilith. Hail beautiful king, or great, the great king, Asmodeus. Ave Satanus, and I'll talk to you next.